Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models and welcome to issue number four of building the Batmobile Tumbler. Uh, in this issue, uh, we're going to be putting the suspension onto the front wheel that we already built. Um, and uh, for some reason, this is the only issue that I received this month. I think it should have been four and five, but it was four and a free gift, a key ring, um, which is, it's all right. It's, it's free. It's a key ring. It's Batman. Um, it's metal but only just. It does feel a little bit plasticky, uh, but it's sort of a, an enamel painting and, you know, got little bits on it. So, yeah, that's, that's it, it. it is what it is. Um, I can only believe that they're sending me issue four to balance me out to other deliveries, maybe, because I bought one in the shop and got two and three. That's the, the first delivery. So if they then send four, that'd be like getting one and two and three and four. And then it will be, I don't know if it's five and six or five, six, seven and eight. I'm not sure exactly when it goes into four in a pack. But at the moment, this is this month's delivery. So it won't take long to build uh, and we'll, you know, continue from there. Uh, let's have a look through the magazine first, of course. And then we'll have a look and do the build. Uh, we're jumping into the void. Uh, the stunts you see the tumbler performing are real. Special effects team wanted to build a working car fit for a superhero, and they succeeded. So yes, it was an actual created vehicle that does its own stunts, basically. Quite interesting and uh, quite impressive. I mean, it's it, yeah, I do like the the vehicle is just you know, it's far too over the top for a car, but it's all right. It does the job. Um, in Batman's history, the first adventures. Uh, one month after making his debut appearance, he returned to newsstands in Digitective Comics number 28. Uh, obviously, he's got his own. Uh, the following issue, Batman lost the hyphen. Okay. Um, obviously, he gets his own at some point. First two issues of Batman. Uh, no date on that, but I'm sure there is in the words. If you read all through those, we have Batman. Last head of the Batman comic book series. First Batman logo. Yeah, it works. That's the job. I'm happy with that. Don't know who Bill Finger is. Milton Finger. Uh, shoe salesman. And then he became an artist. Uh, okay, we've got the legend of Batman and who he came to be. And how he came to be, not who. First origin story for Batman. There we go. Uh, right, so yes, we are building the right suspension. And the right brake disc. Uh, I shall obviously put these up on the screen when we're doing them. Interestingly, we've got some different numbers and letters for the screws. We've got AAM. But, you know, they decided that they need more letters and numbers and things. So we're building the brake disc, um, the suspension bits. And then finally, we'll bring back the tyre from last time and fit this to it. So it'll end up looking just like that. Uh, and in the next issue, which, as I say, I don't have as yet, we're going to be starting on the front bulkhead, which, you know, I'm happy we're not going straight into the other wheel. Nice to have a break, and do something separate, and then come back to it. So, let me get the parts ready. I'll get the picture in picture put up in a moment, and we'll get on with the build. So, here we have the parts. Uh, I say I've got the tyre, which is still impressing me with its weight and size and girth. I'm happy with that. Uh, so we've got a combination of metal and plastic parts for this. Pretty much standard for this sort of thing, this sort of builds. Uh, first of all, we are fitting this little bracket into there. Uh, it goes that way round because that's slightly longer than that side. Uh, and we're using some AM screws to put that in place. Let's get a few of these out. Uh, not that many. I'll leave one in there because that's probably what we're going to need. Uh, let's have a look. We need two for this. Nice and easy, going in through the top there. And that one doing the same on there. So they're both in and it's all lined up. We can make sure we go back and tighten that down. Just like that. Always make sure you get these parts tightened down properly. You don't want any wiggle when you're uh, 
when you've built it and connect things to it. Especially as you're going into metal, it's going to be very difficult to actually over tighten or clip and thread it, uh, you know, strip the thread rather. So that's that on there. I'm happy with that. Next up, we're fitting this part, uh, which is the right steering rod. Obviously, because it's um, uh, two separate wheels, they need individual steering parts, don't they? So this is going on there into that little groove okay and uh, then we've got this little bracket that goes over the top we'll hold it securely in place okay. well, it's going to fit over there quite a tight fit is that slide on or is that yeah, just got it going on in there so it's again it's a case of it being a tight fit because of tolerances and painting and stuff so I might need to do a little bit of filing on the side of that. I will just take the edge off just to basically strip off the paint from the side of that. Being careful not to damage this bit up here. Get rid of that from that side and do the same on the other side as well, I think. Make it a little bit probably not made a lot of difference I wouldn't have thought not very much at all it's a little bit freer on there once that gets in and the screw goes down on that I'm pretty sure that's going to be okay but let's find out we're going to use another AM screw for that we get that on there then that on there push down a bit See about getting that screw in there. There we go. So that should lock that down. Some movement there, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the other end is going to be supported somewhere, isn't it? So there's still going to be some movement. that's all that tightened down there so that's okay about where that needs to be uh join the two disc brakes together uh that's that way up and we've got a pin and a hole there uh it shows that going over like that so is that going to be in the middle that looks about right looks like a thing to me sp screws for that which are these uh obviously p because it's going into plastic Two of them screws required. Still several in the bag, so I'll put those back over there. That in there. The other side. Nice and easy. Tighten those up. Sorted. Happy, happy days. So that's that. Uh, we've still got that pin not really coming through there. Let's just lock that in place. It looks like it's coming through more in the picture, but it isn't. Then we get this and this. Yeah, the pictures in this are actually quite helpful. They're showing it, you know, there and then going over. So it's giving you a proper indication of the orientation of these parts. Uh, so that's going on there like that and then a couple more am screws looks like i might have got the right number out oh i guess we're going to need some more they are going in there obviously this is the disc piece is plastic but the other part is metal it's the m screws going into there that lightning that that in the other side as well. Tighten that one. That's not going anywhere. Good. Happy with that. Uh, then this is going over there. That's got a little bit of movement to that. Maybe I can tighten that a little bit more. It's always tricky knowing when there's plastic involved 
just how far to take it. I know I'm not going to strip the thread, but I'm going to might squish the plastic. But that's tighter than I'm happier. But that's not moving now. So yeah, make sure that's secure. This is then going on to there, uh, like so, and that will have some movement to it. But we've got a little cut out there. Uh, that is where this is going to go onto there, that way round, and that will hold that in place. Uh, what we've got SP screws for that again. I should have got some more of them out, shouldn't I? There's one and another. But these are going into plastic, so extra special careful not to damage the threads on those. That one and that one. So far, so good. Now, with that on there, the disc brake sort of system means that can't escape anymore. Fine. Good. Uh, this is then going on to this bit that we built up. Uh, no, it's not. This is going into this bit that we built up. Square. It's squared. Uh, which way around is that going? That way, like that, and that into there, by the looks of that. It looks a lot like that. And then we need an AAM arm screw for that. I wonder how far the screws are going to go that they've needed to have an AAM instead of a you know D E F G M whatever they could go up to. So that will go in the other end of that and hold that in tight. A little bit of wobble there still. Let's go back and tighten it a little bit more. Hmm. Further than I thought it was going to go. There we go, that's tightened. And still a bit of wobble to it. Come on. I don't really like this. I don't like this tightening so much. That's not tightening any more than that. And there's no wobble. Good. Right. We get there in the end. That's that. Uh, then what have we got? This is then going onto there. Ah, right. Is that going in there? Is that going through these? That bit. Is that that way? So that's fitting on there just like that. With a screw in either end. A GM screw. Nice to change it up a little bit. So two of those. Uh, before I put that through there, let's check. Yes, that's sort of threaded through there, but not much. Probably the same the other side. Let's check and see. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's sort of threaded a little bit on the inside, but not by very much. Let's get this the same way around as the picture. And that the same way around as the picture. Get that lined up through there. See if we can't get that. In there just a little bit. I think that's not going through anywhere. I've not got it lined up quite right. Uh, apologies in advance for the filming quality of this. It's all going to be black. So filming black against black on a... At least I've not got a black background. But uh, yeah, getting it all... The same level of uh, brightness is a little bit tricky. Hopefully you can see mostly what's going on, if not completely. Right, that's going in there now. So I've got that in there a couple of turns. Let's go and get the other side lined up the same. That should be lined up about there. In a couple of turns. Make sure that's where it should be. That seems to be good. Then we can get these tightened up fully. Uh, 
And we've only got one more bit to fit before we actually put the wheel on. So, tightening that, turning it around, tightening up the other side. I'm on nearly there, nearly there. That's tight and it moves. It's a stiff, but it moves. It's freeing up a little bit. Good, 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 good. Right. So this is the right referral transmission. Um, yeah. Okay. We need an ABM screw for that. There we go. That on there. Right. So this is going through this bit in which orientation we've got that looking like that that's going to be going on there like that so this is going through there with that bending downwards that way so that's going in there and the screw is coming in from this side the outside here or you know it will be in a minute when i've got this all sorted out uh, let's try it without that bit first again that's going straight through there so it's only tightening onto the left side of this down there so that's that way around but that will go through that through that loose piece and only then does it actually encounter thread when we can tighten that up onto there good that's loose and floppy on there that's that on there and then that's going to be going that way. It's going over there. Okay, I understand now. Uh, a UM screw for that, which is one of these little chunky ones with the built-in washer. In a bag that can't open. There it is. Get that out of there. On there. And that on there. Very nearly on there. There we go. So that's that. Uh, now, when I'm putting these screws into the metal, you may notice a lot of the time I'll screw it in a bit and then I'll just go backwards half a turn. That's a useful way of breaking up the ink and thread that would normally get locked up in there. Uh, you can use some lubricant in there. A little bit of oil will help it go in better, but don't like putting oil on screw threads because the whole point of screw threads is they're not meant to come apart and oil might make it come apart so uh yeah I'm, I'm not happy with adding oil to that so that is that is that a slight angle which is probably right so if i turn this it does in fact turn the wheel so it's working it's stiff but working that's the that's always the nice way of things working uh, so, the wheel, we bring it in now. Uh, so in here we have got a bit either side, little uh, ready pieces. Either side, no, one side has definitely got more of a thread than the other. Uh, there's a little step to that in there. I don't know if you can just about make that out, if I get the angle right. So that is where that part is going. Let's get that turned around to there. Is that... You can't really see where it's going. Right, this is fun and tricky. Let's see, that's going on there. Take the example of wheel measure two. Note the notch in the hub. When placing the wheel on zoom, it's you went lines right. Okay. First insert washer 2E. That's what we kept from last time. We have a washer and a big plug thing. Uh, so the washer is going on in there right that's going in that hole there uh what we're we using another aam screw we'll hold that together come on out you come out you come there we go that's that uh so let's try and get that in there uh, before I put that in there, I'll keep my finger over there to keep that washer in there. I've got to figure out how to get that lined up with that. 
not going to be easy. Whatever, it's going to wobble around and move a little bit. So let's try and get that at the top. There. And that at the top. There. I hope it doesn't wobble around too much when it goes on there. I don't think that is. I think that's not on there fully. Let's see if the screw's going to fit in. The screw is no, only gone on a couple, only gone on there a couple of turns. So I don't think that that is right now. Turning the wheel and see. Can't see if that is turning or not. Hmm. Interesting. Let me get a closer look at that and see if I can see anything moving. Let's have a closer look. I don't see that interior piece moving, so that probably means it's not lined up right. So if I can wobble it around a bit. Hopefully at some point that will sort of slip down. Slip into place. Probably you can't get to the other side of it from there. I could poke through from the front. I'm going to fit. I need something thinner than that. I don't want to anything that's going to scratch and mark it though. So it's it's tricky. It really is tricky. It's further in than I thought as well. Uh, let's go for a tiny pair of tweezers. I don't think I'm reaching all the way through. I'm going to need something thinner than that and yeah, something that I can manipulate a little bit. Okay, that's going through, but not all the way. All right, I'm going to have a little play with this off camera uh, and then I will put that on after I've tightened down the screw and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Yep, there we go. It was actually locked up in place, as far as I can tell. Um, so now that is on there properly, secure, tight. It's it's meaty. It's it's very very meaty. So this is obviously working as steering. Um, if you were to hold that and turn that, the wheel does turn. It works. I'm I'm quite happy with it. It's coming together. It's quite a neat little machinery thing. Uh, I believe that's the top. Yeah, that wouldn't be the pot top. That would definitely be the bottom. So we've got that there. Uh, you can't see much in there at all, but you can see some from the inside. And well, is that the outside? It's the outside, isn't it? Yes. Judging by the current, yeah, that's the outside. That's going to be going downwards. So that is this wheel. Um, yeah. Uh, the detail is a little bit different on there to there, but it's close. Colour is a little bit different as well, but that's okay. I'm I'm quite happy with how that is. And that will only get better as time goes by and the build progresses. So, thank you very much for joining me on issue four and the key ring issue. Uh, I shall see you, I don't know, in a few weeks, maybe a month, until I get another delivery of this. So, thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon for other things and then back for this later on. Bye bye for now.